Helena Bighorns have clinched home ice advantage. In their final game of the regular season, Helena was crowned the Frontier Division regular season champions as well. For that game was Helena native Gabe Swanson, who shares what it takes to play such an important game. Gabriel Swanson, number 30, Helena, Montana. Uh, it was really fun. I mean, we obviously dominated that whole game. Didn't really have to worry about anything. They all have my back up there, so just got away with the win. Johnny Peterson, number six, from Colorado Springs, Colorado. And that was big two points that uh, solidified first for us, and then uh, being able to go out there and get a big, I think it was 7-2 win, that was, that was huge, and seeing him get some playing time was, uh, it, it was awesome. Like, seeing, seeing the, the crowd, like, really get behind him and stuff, it was great. No, I'm proud of you guys, right? This is a first step, it's a three-step process, right? Taking first, going into playoffs, winning playoffs, going to nationals and getting a ring, okay? Yes, sir. We're gonna do it together, right? All of us are going to do it together, okay, with the help of them. And we're going to get it done. I'm proud of you. During Helena's first round bye in the playoffs in early March, the number three seed Bozeman Ice Dogs defeated the sixth seed Butte Cobras and now advanced to play the Gillette Wild. Number four Great Falls Americans also swept number five Badlands Sabres and will face off against the Bighorns. They say that familiarity breeds contempt. Great Falls and Helena have a deeply rooted rivalry, dating back over 20 years of junior hockey. This season, the two teams have played each other five times in just the final five weeks of the regular season, and that contempt for each other is never more on display than in the postseason. We've done this 47 times already, 47 times. This should be the time of your lives. And in, when you're 20, 30, 40, 50, when you're talking about this, that run in the playoffs, where every guy came together for one goal. Helena fans have turned out in droves to game one of the series, played in Great Falls. And it doesn't take long to reward them as captain Liam Bland plays a loose puck off the boards and surprises goaltender Zach Hatton. And not much more than a minute later, Tyler Bloom nets his first goal of the postseason, point blank while falling to the ice. After their first successful penalty kill of the evening, the Bighorns strike again, as Bland taps in his second of the night to give Helena a commanding lead in just the first 10 minutes of play. Great Falls gets on the board late in the frame, and the period ends with a two-goal lead for Helena. Adam Harvey lights the lamp in the opening seconds of the second period, giving Helena a 4-1 lead. While the Americans were able to muster a few scoring chances, the Bighorns controlled the pace for much of the period. Harvey scores his second of the night, giving Helena a 5-1 lead going into the third period. In the final frame, Great Falls produced only 10 shots on goal, and Eric Buckholz turned each of them aside. Game one of the Frontier Division semifinals ends with the Helena Bighorns winning in decisive fashion, five to one. Other than Gillette, like they were the only other team that had beat us in uh, in division all year, and like we knew, like they they had a, a solid team, but we knew that once uh, once we were playing our game, they they didn't want anything to do with us. So I think the the message right off the bat was just first five minutes, ten minutes, just really get on top of them and. Show them, show them Helena Bighorn Hockey. Meanwhile, the Bozeman Ice Dogs try to stave off elimination in Wyoming, 
but the Gillette Wild proved to be too strong of an opponent. The Wild sweep their series two games to none and now wait for the winner of tomorrow night's game in Helena. Montana's capital city hosted game two of the semifinals on Saturday night. Fans took advantage of the spring-like weather by hosting a tailgating party before packing the Helena Ice Arena. For the third time this season, the Bighorns were treated to a sold-out, standing-room-only crowd. Game two, the Frontier Division semifinals. About to get underway here at the Helena Ice Arena in Montana's capital city. The Great Falls Americans gave the home team a tight defensive game to start the first period. The Bighorns peppered goaltender Will Simpson with scoring chances, but wouldn't find the back of the net until late in the frame. Here's Jonathan Peterson, off for Liam Bland. Green swings behind him, here's Bland shot, he scores! Liam Bland rips it past Will Simpson. And the Bighorns take a one to nothing lead here. Late in the first period, Liam Land had picked up two last night in Great Falls. It's, uh, it's no surprise. I've skated with Liam since I was 15 years old. And ever since I met him, it's just been a, he's had ice in his veins. It seems like he's been our, I, I can't tell you how many shootouts and stuff he's won for us. Overtime, big goal he's had. He's just always been that, that really clutch player and you can always count on him to, to step up in big moments, doesn't matter how big it is. I think that he leads this team in a good positive way. He's always the one to reach out to you if you need help or something. Yeah, I would say he's a really good team guy, good captain, everything. The second period continues in much the same way as the first. Helena generates more scoring chances than Great Falls, but Simpson remains strong in net. Almost halfway through the second, Sam Feemster tucks one in to give the Bighorns a two-goal lead. The Americans get on the board shortly after and begin to establish momentum. More back and forth goes on between the two teams, now in full playoff action. Gutchick again across for Bloom. Minute five to go on the big horn top play. One timer from Green fires away. Rebound score! Liam Land on the rebound! A power play goal! By Peterson. Pass across, cut off. Score! Fletcher! With just under three seconds left. Great Falls responds. Facing a one-goal deficit heading into the third period, the Americans begin to play desperate as they face elimination from the playoffs. But the Bighorns' depth and conditioning prove to be too much. Eric Giveney scores his first of the night and a tidal wave of offense overwhelms Great Falls. Dead empty one more time, the extra attacker. Here's come the Bighorns the other way. Tyler Bloom across for Tyler Green. Green with the open, and he scores! Tyler Green! Martin has the hustle back. Now picked off in front by Gibbony. Gibbony scores! Eric Gibbony! His second of the night. Americans in the Frontier Division semifinals. As expected, the Wild and the Bighorns will now square off in the Frontier Division Championship.
with a trip to the national tournament in St. Louis on the line. All the boys are super pumped to be in this final series, have the chance to go to St. Louis, hopefully destroy Gillette, and that's all. We're all just super excited for that. The final episode of Beyond the Bench will recap the rest of the Helena Bighorns postseason run, no matter how much further it goes from here.